Hey guys, Gary here. Welcome to my channel, Just Talk. And today I'm going to be mounting and configuring the USW Flex Mini. This is a switch sold by Ubiquiti for $29 and it's a five port managed gigabit switch which can be powered by using the USB-C adapter that comes with it or by using port one which is an 802.3AF PoE port and that's what I'm going to be using. To mount it I found this bracket uh, by Print3D Steve on the internet. Um, I'm going to be mounting it right back here and connecting my Apple 4K uh, TV to it because I want to get it off wireless. But before I get started, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so when I release new content, you will get the notifications. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I can be found at Gary with two R's S Studer. So let's get this thing mounted. Okay, so now that we have it mounted, nice and snug. I'm going to go ahead and connect the Apple TV and, uh, and the power. Okay, now that everything is connected, we'll go ahead and head upstairs to the computer, get it adopted and configured, and that should be it. So let's head on upstairs. Okay guys, now that we're back at the computer, let's go ahead and get this thing adopted. So let's click on the network controller. And let's click on devices. Let me change this over to the icon view because I like that best. And here's the Flex Mini. So let's go ahead and click on that. And we'll go ahead and adopt. And it says adopting. All right. Let's go ahead and add. Oh, what happened there? Let's go back here. So here's the Flex Mini. So while that's going on, let's head on over to the, um, my topology, kind of show you where we are with this. Um, so right now we installed the Flex Mini, which will be the uh, Apple TV 4K will be connecting to it. And the LG OLED TV will be connecting to the Apple TV which will be powered by, um, by uh, power over ethernet. So that's how it's getting its power. And once we get this all configured, the only thing I'll have left to install is the redundant power supply, uh, which will be connecting to the NVR, the USW 24 PoE Pro and the UDM Pro. And just so you know, um, in my first video, um, somebody had mentioned that the aggregation does not have a connection for the RPS, but I had drawn a line to it and they were absolutely correct. So I removed that line and I kind of cleaned this up a little bit. They also pointed out that it looked like I had um, daisy chained these together, which I didn't. I took the lines out. They weren't daisy chained. I mean, um, they are all running back to the switch individually and I moved the doorbell up here and I'm still waiting for these to come back into stock so I can add those. So that's where I'm at with my home network, just one piece left for now until I um, purchase these and probably another G4 uh, Pro camera. 
So let's hop back on over to the controller. Still waiting for this. Um, let's see what's going on. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll let that go ahead and adopt and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. It looks like we had some technical difficulties. I had to actually reset the Flex Mini um, to get it to adapt. So now that we have it adapted, let's go ahead and go over to the switch and configure the port that it's actually going to be connected to. Um, so we'll just name that the Flex Mini 01. Actually, let me go over here because I want to Mac filter this too. So we'll go ahead, copy this, go back over here, go back here. Um, we'll do that and then we'll call this GA. And flex mini s01. Let's go ahead and apply the changes. Give that a second. All right. Now let's go go over to the mini, and we actually want to name that. The uh, GA Fan View SW Pro 24 Gen 2 01. And we'll leave that on all. Let's apply that change. And then port 2. This is going to be the Apple TV 4K-01 and I think we'll put that on the IoT and let's go ahead and hit apply there let that settle for a moment Let's go to device, we'll do the network, I'm going to take it off DHCP and give it a static of 6, and one, that one, that one, two, five, zero, eight, 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 eight. some changes and I think that's interesting let's go ahead and disable these ports but <laughs> that is crazy That's interesting. I wonder if they got an issue, a bug, because when you go to ports, even though it's showing up and I got lights on the switch, it's showing it as disabled. Interesting. Well, we're going to go disable all this, all these other ports. Apply. Go ahead and disable this one. So that should leave this one. And this one. Alright. So it everything looks 
like it's working correctly. I got green light on the switch. Um, and we got a link like here. So I tell you what, let me go downstairs and check and see if it works and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did go downstairs to check to see whether or not the Apple TV 4K was working and it is and it's connected via the Ethernet cable now instead of wireless, which is awesome. And as you can see, the ports are now showing up the way they should. And these are all disabled, which they should be. And um, other than me having to reset the uh, the Flex Mini and for some reason, I don't know if it's a software issue or not, but it's now showing everything good. I think we're good to go. So again, if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell. So when I release new content, you will get the notification. And if you like to follow me on Instagram, you can find me at Gary with two R's S Studer. And if you like the video, I know there were some hiccups. Again, I'm new at this. And I guess this is how you learn because that was pretty interesting to have um, that happen. But we reset the uh, Flex Mini and got it up and running. So I'm happy with it. So again, if you liked the video, please leave a comment uh, down below. Hit the like button. And so on that note, my next video will be the RPS, which hopefully will be this week. And I'm also going to do a video on um, my topology that I drew on uh, Draw.io. So stay tuned for that. And until then, deuces.